Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here and today we find ourselves as a stellar creator and we'll be decorating the night sky and constructing our own constellation. We'll do so by carefully choosing colorful dice as stars as you try to foresee your opponent's moves and take risks at the right moment. Twinkle is a quick space themed strategy game for the whole family as well as for more advanced gamers and it's for 2-4 to four players, plays in 15 minutes for ages 8 and up and published by V Games. It's on Kickstarter right now so I'm going to show you how the game works and I'll see you on the other side. This is a Kickstarter preview, so any art and components you see here are subject to change, they're not final. You're going to want to check the Kickstarter link in the description of this video to see all the final art and components. Now this board in the game represents the galaxy, and you can play up to four players, and each of this set of the same stars is where a different player will sit. So in, in this case we have players of different colors, each of them has two different stars that they will begin to create their own constellations from. Each player is going to get seven connectors and a scoring marker. Let's show you how you use these by going over how our turn works. Now here are the dice of the different colors that you'll be selecting from to take some turns. Now these dice, you'll have a certain amount of these out depending on the amount of players. In a four player game like we're playing now, you'll use all six scoring cards that correspond to the specific colored dice. Now in every game you'll be using a twinkle scoring card. You're going to be drafting and rolling some of these dice and placing them into your constellation and each of these dice scored a different way that we'll go over in just a little bit. On your turn, you're going to be choosing a die and adding it to your constellation. You have two choices for this. One choice is to take any three dice, and it could be from any of the ones in this section. So let's say we want to take this one, and let's say we go ahead and we take this one right here. And you can even take one off of the center galaxy board like this. These are the D8s. Now notice that these are eight-sided dice. And the other ones we could have selected from are four-sided die, six-sided die, ten-sided die, and twelve-sided dice. Then you're going to roll all three dice and you're going to select one of them to add to your constellation. Now I'll tell you why you'd want to choose things differently in just a little bit, but let's say we go ahead and we choose this one. Now the dice you didn't choose, if it came from over by the scoring cards, you would place those dice right back where they were. But if it was the D8 that came from the galaxy board, you must keep this number exactly the same. You can't make it a different number. We'll tell you why in just a moment. Then we're going to attach this die to either one of our two starting stars or to another die that we've already placed. But since this is our first die, we will just connect it to one of our starting stars just like this. Then it'll be the next player's turn. Now let's say it came back to our turn, we selected three more dice, we rolled them, we selected this one. Now each star and die can have two connections coming off from it. So this one's going to spin this way and this is a four. Now anytime you attach a die to another die it has to be less than this die. So four is less than six so this is okay. Now there's also a cool thing that this dice has more sides than this dice. This is a d6, this is a d10. This one has ten sides. Now if you place a die that has more sides than the previous connected die and the number, of course, always has to be less than, then we get to activate a twinkle bonus. Now we look at this twinkle scoring card, what this tells you is you'll get two points any time that you place a die that has more sides than the previous one. So if you have more sides but it's smaller, you'll get two points. Now all of these scoring, which I'm going to go over in just a minute, they all happen at the end of the game, but I just want to show you that that is one of the ways to score, is to place a die with more sides but is less than the previous die. Now let's say we've all played two turns and it's back to us. Now one of the other things you can do when choosing a die is choose one of these D8s from the middle of the board. But when you do so, you don't roll it. You actually just take it and you place that die as you see it and connect it again to one of your dice or to one of your stars. So maybe we added this die without rolling it to right here. Now remember, each die can only have two connections and each starting star can only have two connections. So this one cannot have any more coming off of it. I could have placed this one off of this one, but I wanted to show you how these can branch. Now if it's your turn and for some reason you can't place a die that turn, you just skip your turn, it goes to the next player. When it comes back around to you, you try to go again. Now you'll be continue playing and players will continue playing until they've placed all of their connections, meaning they'll have seven dice in their constellation. At that point, you do all of the scoring. Now the galaxy board would then flip over and each player's color marker will be used to tally all of your scoring. But I'm going to flip it back over so we can show you what this looks like. Now each player is going to score, we're going to go through one color at a time. Now the yellow dice, they score if you have one of them in your constellation, it's one point. Two of them, it's three points. If you have three or more, it's six points. In this case, I just have one, so it'd be one point for me for the yellow dice. Now the blue ones are going to score you four points for every pair of blue dice that are connected to the same die or starting star. 
we have this starting star, we have a pair of blue here. This can be four points. Now, if you have sort of a blue die that's not part of a pair, it's worth one point. Now, for the green dice, you'll score one point for each of the green dice. This one's one point. But then you'll look for other dice of other colors that are the same type, meaning this is a D6. So is this, so is this, and so is this. Because these are all the same types of this, but they're not green, I get a point for each of those. So I get three more points for a total of four points just for this green die. Now, you do this for every green die type that you have there as well. Now, the black dice. You're going to look at each of your starting stars, and they're going to score separately. This starting star will look, we have one black die. Anytime you only have just one black die, it's worth one point. However, let's say we had more than one black die. You're going to look at each starting star, you're going to look at the black dice that are connected to those, and you're going to add up the sum. In this case, we have 10, so we would get four points. Six or less, you'd get two points, and so on and so forth. And again, knowing that you could sum these differently in both starting stars and score both of them separately. Now, the purple dice, you're going to get one point for every die that it's connected to. So if this one is just connected to one die, it would be worth one point in this case. But if it looked like this, this purple die is now connected to two, so this die would be worth two points now. Now for the red dice, you're going to look at every line that it's connected to through the starting star. So this red die is connected through this six to here. This red die is connecting all of these dice to this starting star. So we have two different lines here. Each of these is going to score separately. Each one you're going to look at and you're going to decide even or odd. You're going to get one point for each of those. You have to decide. So this one, obviously this is an even number. This is an even number, so we'll choose even. We'll get a point for each of these. So this die will get us two points. This one, we have all even. Even, even, even. There's three dice that are even connected to this star through this line. So one point for each of these. We'd get three points for that red. Now as mentioned earlier, the twinkle bonus. Here, this die has more sides than this and it's lower. This die has more sides than this, and it's lower. And this die has more sides than this, and it's lower. So we have three of those. Each of those worth two points. So we have six points for the Twinkle scorecard. At that point, whoever has the most points is the winner. If it's tied, the tied player who played last is the winner. Now, there's also an advanced way to play the game. There are mission cards, bronze and silver. Now, you can play a bronze level, which is just having one of these bronze missions out. You can have a silver level by randomly choosing two silver cards and putting them out. Or you can play diamond level, which is one bronze and two silver. So let's show you these different cards and how they work. Now, for example, let's show you some of these bronze ones. These all have to do with comparing yourself to other players. Like this one says, uh, the player who has the most dice in one single line of the constellation scores three points. Now, if you're ever tied, all tied players get the points. This is having the most dice in one single line. This one's having the most single same value in your constellation, like a bunch of threes, for example. This one is having the least amount of different colors. So this one, you're gonna wanna specialize in a color to get that reward. Now there's other bronze mission cards that don't have anything to do with other players, but just any player can do it as long as they have fulfilled the requirement. Like this one here is any player who's placed in their constellation only dice with the result equal or less than six will get three points here. This one is having a die of each of the different sizes. We'll get this. And this is from a starting star having all odd or all even dice values. Now let's look at some of the silver missions. This one says anytime you have two dice that are stemming from another dice and this one equals the sum of these two, you'll get three points. This one is anytime you connect a die of the same color, like in this case it's connecting a green die, you'll get one point. Now it doesn't matter which color it is as long as they're the same. And this one says anytime you have uh, the results of all the dice of a specific single color equals 13 or 14, you'll get two points. Now here's three more to look at from the silver missions. Under a starting star, if for every die that you have that's the same color or value, you'll get a point. Here is the amount of ones that you have in your constellation. You'll have a certain amount of these, you'll get a certain amount of points. This one is, if a die is connected to another die and it's exactly two less, you'll score a point. So that's how you play the advanced game. It just gives you more strategy in it. And that is pretty much how you play Twinkle. Well, there you have Twinkle, and as I showed in the overview, it's great for casual gamers with light strategy, but you can also add in those mission cards for advanced gamers. Now, if you'd like to see all the final art and components and all the different pledge levels available, you can click the link below me in this video, and it will take you directly to the Kickstarter project page, and I'm sure that V Games would love your support.